All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is 11 years the elder. He is eight inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> If he's first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC and they separate the Korean Superboy going for the body kick there but he misses no setup whatsoever there Try to establish that jab. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Got the single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. 
Nice defense to block the elbow. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the force behind that leg. Back and forth we go. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Just over three minutes to go. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent to shoot, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up when the fight stands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Joy gets absolutely punished by that head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Joy's kick to the body. That one blocked. Wow. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clutch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Checks the leg kick. All right, he engages in a single column die here. Oh, big elbow. Very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh! Head kick! Oh! He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Right hand landing. The Korean Superboy get work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. And they both stand up. All right, he engages in the single collar guy. Oh! Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Five minutes in the books.
stuffs the takedown, no problem. Ooh. His leg is hurt here, you can see him limping a little bit. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Yes. Yeah. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts people bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very bad. Ryan will engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Effective punch there by Short. And he defends yet another takedown. Seemingly every takedown attempt that has been tried has been stuffed. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Back and forth we go! He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the turtle in that kick. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Knee to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he Man. throws that kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Takedown defense holds up. Nice. Oh. He's done. He's done. And now he lands a combination. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Beautiful strike. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his shot. He's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind. All the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, big shot land. Round number two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. 
He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Third round underway. Nice punch land over the top. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Single collar tie now. moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Choi's uppercut, but that one is blocked. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges. Scorecards clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten a double the strike. He's got a double the strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and now a beautiful hip toss, DC. We'll see if he can capitalize from here. I mean, that was beautiful, the way that he took the underhook, stepped all the way across and hit that hip toss. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Just over three minutes to go. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with what looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. in the fight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Choice pass attempt to now. Nice hammer fist. Doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Close guard. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Single collar tie here. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And 
I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.